Yeah, well, she was there as a as a contractor, basically. But yeah, she, know that's like. you know, as part of her role, she had to dress professionally. But then also she'd have to come out to the manufacturing floor quite a few times. Um, so when everyone else was like, all right, let's go, because they're just in their steel toes all the time, <laughs> she's like, oh, can you guys wait? I got to go change. Because there's no way that you could be in a meeting. They're fucking doing ugly. Any kind of. No, they're, they're hideous. They're, they absolutely are. Yeah. Um, and most mainstream companies, because the female market isn't, to be completely honest, it's not huge. So what they'll do is they'll, they'll take their men's models, they'll kind of just shrink them down, maybe change some of the colors, and then release them for women. So yeah. I, oftentimes they won't even use a female last, which oh, is geez. ridiculous. Because it's, well, and men and women's feet are shaped differently. So yeah. um, that's also not something that, you know, I guess is common knowledge. Um, I didn't know it. So there you go. Yeah, women's feet tend to flare out a little more, but then they're they're narrower in the in the heel area. Um, so if you don't use a women's last, now it's really uncomfortable, no matter how much room you have. Um, yeah, and so now most companies have started using female last, but it's still they just kind of use the male centric approach in all of their yeah. design. Well, that's probably partially because of you guys, right? Because you did change the landscape there by bringing this product out. Well, so chronologically speaking, I mean, we've only been around less than two years. So. Which is insane to me. I mean, because I don't know. I guess I have eyes. It, well, I've worked on a lot of engineering floors. But we're not as prevalent mm -hmm. as I would like there. So that's a good point. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. um, I mean, we do talk to a lot of customers that say, oh, I had this idea a long time ago. And it's just, it constantly comes up. Oh, oh, I, I knew that this was a need that needed to be addressed. And I mean, the barriers to entry in this market are so ridiculously high. Interesting. Just because it's highly, well, it's highly regulated. I mean, you're, you're dealing with PPE. PPE has to go through, um, you know, regulated testing. And it's not like I put together a sneaker. It's got four stripes instead of three. Go ahead and rock it. Um, this is slightly different. It's a little more scientific. Interesting.